Hi Scorpio, welcome in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. And this is going to be your reading for the upcoming week. Scorpio, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. Let's see what messages we have for you. Reverse the roles if needed, switch to cases. This may not be a reading entirely, right? Let's see what messages we have for Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio justice. Okay, things need to be balanced out, right? You might not be liking someone's attitude, someone's behavior, or the way this person is behaving in a particular situation. I think it's time you put it to balance, right? May it be with sword, may it be with words, by any means, but you need to bring balance here. Two of swords. Decision time. I think this was going on for so long. You were not able to make a decision about a situation. Two of swords. Blindfolded, closed off, not opening your heart to anybody. For some of you, it, it was like a feeling that I need to stay closed off and I'm not ready to commit. Or I want to commit, but I don't know how to jump these blockages, right? Okay, Scorpio. So we have two of wands, queen of pentacles and the devil. So there's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your surroundings. Or this can be your energy. I see that you are opting away from this person, right? I'm getting a feeling here, Scorpio, that you have opted to turn away from someone. Maybe a new fire sign is entering the scenes. And I see two people, people, honestly. But um, I see that you're making a decision to turn away from one person. But the problem is that the chemistry, the attraction, the passion is so strong that it makes you, um, it makes it hard to step away from this person. I see a very strong um, connection, obsessive kind of connection, obsessive, sexual, passionate, you call it anything, but it is a big chemistry here, right? You're trying to step away from it, but the obsession is so strong that that person keeps on coming back to your mind, right? And we have Queen of Wands, Fire Sign Energy. You might be trying to uh, talk to someone new here. Let's see what's happening in your surroundings. We have the Emperor, the Chariot and the Six of Swords. Someone is stubborn. This person is quite controlling and picking up and they want to take things forward very quick, right? They have an ideology, they have an outlook and they want to work over it. Justice energy, I see that you're making some bold stands here, Scorpio. Can be about Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, can be about Aries or Cancer. I see fire sign as well. But this person is trying to move past something. I see they're very uh, energetic. They have a strong willpower. Again, we have the Queen of Wands here. Emperor energy. Someone's father can be very adamant. I'm picking up here. And you're making a decision. We're going to clarify a few cards, but this person is really feeling eager to work over something. And they're moving on from something here, right? What next? We have Queen of Cups. My God, how many people are you dealing with? This can be your energy also. Can suffice as Scorpio energy. Death again, you and Two of Cups. You're moving towards some compassionate connection in your life, Scorpio. And this is happening uh, maybe within two months, right? Some very rash conversation might come towards you, which might make you feel very uh, emotional for a moment. But I see somewhere at heart you're accepting the transformation. One, two, three, four, five major arcanas on the table. Something huge is transforming here, isn't it? Let's clarify a few cards, right? Let's clarify a few cards and see what's coming up for Scorpio. Okay, we have the page, uh, the four of cups here. Not very satisfied about something. So I at least see the influence of two people in your surroundings. At least two people. All right. Let me see what are you, uh, what are you deciding here with the two of wands energy? What is this decision? We have three of cups, seven of wands, and the three of pentacles. Maybe this was a meeting, you met somebody, uh, it was uh, rejoicing, funny, you enjoy it. It was like a very light meeting with someone, but uh, something you didn't like about the situation and now you're opting away from it, 
right? I see seven of wands with three of pentacles. For some of you, you tried working on it very hard, but it did not work out or you were resisting working it out, right? Both ways, I see that the situation didn't move forward and some new opportunity came your way or it's coming this week. What is this devil then? What is this devil Capricorn energy? Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Star. Maybe you still want to talk to them or you were still talking to this person. Despite of having this strong um, resistance to the situation, I see the conversation is still there or was still going on despite of this blocking energy. Despite of this blocking energy, right? Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, younger water sign, younger earth sign, strong earth energy. I see someone was still hopeful about something to get worked out. I see strong chemistry here, Scorpio, very, very strong chemistry. Devil with the star, a hope that blindfolds you, a hope that makes you feel that this will happen. Devil with the star also shows us illusions sometime, right? We are living in some hopes which might not be possible on the ground, but the desire is obsessive, right? This can be an obsessive desire. This can be your energy or someone else's energy. But the other person is holding back or you are resisting it because somewhere at heart you are aware of the toxicity and remember we had the two of swords energy in the beginning i want to know the emperor energy who is very controlling here what is this person trying to control we have two of swords again two of swords ace of wands and the ace of cups my god you guys are having a lot of opportunities this week right can be new beginning in love, new beginning in passion. I see passion with this person. I see beginning with this person here. And you are quite closed off because you still have the marks of this past situation on your brain, on your mind. And you, you're blocking your heart. Scorpio, the opportunities are there in front of you, but you are the one blocking it, I pick up here. You are the one resisting it. What is this chariot? But not very long, not for very long, because I see a switch in energy. We have the hanged man, the three of swords, and the nine of swords. Okay, whosoever you're dealing with, I think... Um, they are too closed off and they were not making a decision despite of having a lot of options or maybe you were the one offering this stuff to them but they were still not accepting it i see someone was adamant and not making a decision and the moment one person decides to move on it's like the hanged man the hanged man position is getting released three of swords and the nine of swords that would be heartbreaking for them there's too much too much stressed out here this person has been through some great worries and heartbreak I'm picking up, kind of depression. And now they're coming back to chariot and moving on. I think this separation was actually more difficult for the other person as compared to you, Scorpio. I see you casually just, uh, I see some casual energies from your part. I do still feel some toxicity, some passion or some cords are still attached here but it's really stressing them out and they are all over the place. They're, they're waking up at night. Three of swords with the nine of swords, okay. What is this transformation? What is this transformation happening here? Definitely moving towards something very beautiful for sure. Three of wands, six of cups, world, oh my God. So is it like moving on from past? We have the five of swords energy. I think this was the past situation that was not letting you move on, Scorpio. There was something in your heart. You met somebody recently. That person had an impact over you. I see some toxic cards, some attachment that was developed with a particular person. Can be an earth sign here. But three of wands, uh, the moment you turn back, definitely memories will be there. Definitely emotions will be there. But not for long because I see that you're taking a break with the three of wands energy you're releasing the past here six of cups with the world uh, i think you're finally coming to this point where you will be able to release the past so very interesting you're ending a cycle on ground you know nothing is happening maybe it was all in your head and you were emotionally attached to that situation but death transformation this is your card scorpio and i see that you're coming into your energy it's actually the Scorpio thing, the silent treatment, getting up, walking away, 
not letting people take advantage of you again this message came up very strong not letting anybody take advantage of me i'm not waiting i'm not sitting here i won't waste my time anymore that is the strong rush of words in my mind knight of swords with the king of swords and you're angry five of swords you're not going to be staying at a point where people played mind games with you and you were quiet you were still in the memories no whatever this was it's over let's see what is this two of cups coming up for you this is new this is fresh two of cups coming your way and i saw 11 11 beautiful what is this two of cups queen of swords in reversed so can be a uh, aquarius gemini libra someone is letting go of anger sometimes this is a bitchy card and guess what we have all the queens we have seen all the queens in this reading right someone is letting go of something that happened in past i think this person is changing might be an air sign but they're not in their character right now right we have eight of swords this person is emotionally not okay what else we have um queen of swords in reversed this might not go well with someone you ending the cycle and moving on they might be very agitated but they're not saying anything queen of swords has a capacity to just rush over someone else you know just uh, let your heart out speak it loud and make other person nervous but you're not doing this if this is your energy you're not doing this and if this is someone else they're not opening up they're not telling you how they're feeling how bad they're feeling right now we have the strength in the two of wands yes you know what scorpio they can see that you're making a decision especially if you are um dealing with a leo this person can see that you're opting something you're walking away two of wands starting the starting the reading with two of wands and ending the reading from two of wands so i see the decision is intact whatever is happening in the mix i don't think that anything has a capacity to <clears throat> change your decision strength with the two of wands your decision is not changing here maybe this person is looking at you from a distance they're trying to tame their lines and they're like okay i cannot call scorpio i cannot talk to them i cannot tell them how much i like them i know they're opting away from me i just cannot help it they are resisting the urge to contact you or the other way around right queen of swords someone is not speaking and the moment you see that you are moving away you are making a decision on the other thing you're opting the other thing here <clears throat> okay we also have nine of pentacles letting go feeling independent being good on your own right though i do see a lot of new love opportunities coming your way and i see you going out to explore some other things this can be the decision here and justice being honest and uh, just full for yourself right scorpio moon rising venus jupiter and sun higher power card of intuition scorpio what is your intuition bugging at you probably this is the point where you start listening to your inner self and you give up on the toxicity you release this attachment bond or card maybe that was an obsession to talk to somebody and you were in hope that uh, the more we talk the more we will be able to work out on this connection but i think you're letting go of any kind of illusion that we were holding on your mind now you're listening to your intuition and you're ending the past cycle here to be fair again justice justice energy both ways balancing the stuff on a beautiful capacity i see a beautiful capacity to balance everything out of course this is going to stress this person a lot these can be um, messages for one particular person or these can be mi mixed messages for two people because i see more than one influence in your surroundings scorpio we have chaos and conflict and poised so no matter how much chaos and conflict is there in your surroundings scorpio i see you're blessed i can see something here oh beautiful i can see someone giving a birth to something new right this can be the transformation energy where someone is giving birth someone is nurturing something within them and very soon that product that that peace is going to come out and that will be beautiful out of this chaos and conflict i see something beautiful getting born right and at the same time poised so you are blessed you are um 
blessed <laughs> listen to your intuition your guides are um, guiding you step away from the chaos and conflict and make the decision right and i think this is, this is what you're doing buy the book try to release old patterns i see some old patterns with the devil here also try to go uh, and try to do this thing in a very traditional manner right i see it is going to benefit you we have poised card luck is on your side keep moving forward these are your messages thank you so much guys for watching Bye bye